story to tell. The Brahmo Smisher is considered the soul and pride of the Indian military at the present. And it is understandable that New Delhi will only buy the Su-57 if it is compatible with Indian missiles. Russian sources claim that India is willing to buy a large number of Russian Su-57 fighter jets if the Russians modify it so that they can use grammars or similar missiles in the future. According to sources from Russia, a signal suggests that Moscow is ready to respond to this request. According to military advisors in Moscow, the Sukhoi Aircraft Company has conducted an assessment on the feasibility of integrating Brahmo sensors on their fighters. This news could be crucial to the development of the Indian Air Force in the coming decades. It is no secret that India is working on developing the next generation fighter. The purchase of the fifth generation Su-57 will give Liu Diari easier access to Russian technology. According to rumors in the Russian military community, a few months ago, a video was released of a missile launch from a Su-57. The missile is similar in size to the one being developed, the BrahMos 2 Super Missile. This information is hypothetical and cannot be confirmed. Russia and India have resumed negotiations over the purchase of the Su-57, a positive signal for the bright future of this aircraft is that the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation has ordered 76 Su-57 fighters. The first batch was handed over in December 2020. Recently, Minister of Trade and Industry of the Russian Federation, Mr. Denis Manturov, stated that Russia is ready to work with India to develop the Su-57 fighter to meet the maximum possible requirements of India. For more than 50 years, India has been a major defense customer of the Soviet Union and Russia. And at times, it can be said that India saved Russia's defense industry especially the period when the Soviet Union had just collapsed. Currently, India is the foreign country that buys the most Russian-made fighters, of which the Su-30 MKI is the backbone of the Indian Air Force strength. The Brahmo supersonic cruise missile joint program between Russia and India is considered a benchmark of success. Currently, this missile has been successfully integrated into the Indian heavy fighter Su-30 MKI. Russia is ready to work with India to build fifth-generation fighter jets and a deal to buy the Su-57 is a positive sign. In recent times, there are conflicting information about the purchase of Su-57E fighters from India. There hasn't been any official information from the two countries yet, but that hasn't stopped the media from making their assumptions.
Russian and Indian media have reported that India is ready to abandon the Su-57 project and focus on their domestic Tihas fighter project. According to sources, the reason is that India is not satisfied with the engines Moscow equips the Su-57. At the same time, other sources said that both countries will overcome these obstacles, and India will persistently wait until 2022 to make a decision. Meanwhile, Moscow is expected to put into service a second batch of Su-57, which will use the Israelized 30 engines developed specifically for the Su-57. At this point, the Su-57 will become a true fifth-generation fighter. However, the BrahMos-2 missile, which can be integrated into the Su-57, will be smaller and mean a shorter range due to the relatively small internal weapon bay of the Su-57, current BrahMos missiles cannot be mounted. If the external missile is mounted, the Su-57 will lose its stealth. Currently, the Indian Su-30 MKI has modifications to the airframe to carry BrahMos missiles. The Indian Air Force plans to convert 40 Su-30 MKIs to be able to launch BrahMos A. It is expected that two red missiles will be equipped for this squadron. A smaller version with a weight of 1.5 tons is being developed for MiG-29K or Harm Tejas fighters. My video about India going by if Su-57 integrated BrahMos missile ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.